Thank you once again for watching my video. My name is Mr. Charles Wenniken. In this video tutorial, we are still on fuse. Now let's continue from where we stop on, on the other previous video. In the other video, we we'll, we we'll stop at AC fuse, high voltage and low voltage, which I explained that low voltage uses a voltage from 0 volts to 900 99 volts why high voltage uses from 1001 to uh, above to above volts from 1001 and above voltage so in this case we are to continue from where we stop we know that ac current bracket and close and voltage oscillate as 50 or 60 times times per second and in this the amplitude of the signal varies from minimum to maximum as in from lower to high from one to two from lower to higher value that is what i mean by minimum to maximum i repeat we know that ac current black brackets and close voltage oscillates at 50 to 50 or 60 times per second and in this amplitude and in the amplitude of the signal varies from minimum to maximum at one point of these oscillations the ac voltage touches the very the zero volts and hence the arc between the max electrodes can be easily determined as in can be easily terminated i repeat at one point of oscillations the ac voltage touches the zero volts and hence the arc between the max electrodes can be easily terminated as a result, the size of the AC fuse can be smaller when compared to the size of DC fuse, which means that AC fuse is smaller than DC fuse. As well, AC uses from 50 or 60 times per second and its amplitude varies from minimum to maximum. No, though in that case, at times, the AC voltage touches zero volts and the arc between the max electron can be easily terminated. Now, in that case, what I want you to understand is AC and DC, they have a lot of difference. One is this, the AC is, is smaller than DC. In that case, in times of uh, DC, you can also know that uh, DC, it has a, a constant value and so on and so forth. Though I have given you some of the example of DC aspect of it. Aspect of it. Now let's go to low voltage fuse. The low voltage fuse can be further divided into four class show an image semi close or rewindable type and total close or cartridge type switch switches are the most common use switch what i'm trying to say here is I have given you the examples of low voltage fuse, which I gave you rewindable type, I gave you uh, draw parts, I also gave you some of other one cartridge and so on and so forth. But in this case, from here they say the low voltage fuse can be further be divided into four 
class show below in the image semi close or rewindable type and total close or cartridge type switches are the most common used switches now let's move forward now look at the example the low voltage fuse which i have shown you before rewindable type cartridge type dropout strike fuse and switch fuse all these are examples of low voltage fuse now let's go and uh, see how each of them work if it is possible for me to treat each and every one of them i only introduce you and explain a little bit how it works as in the voltage that it can withstand and i gave you the example which is which is a rewindable type cartridge dropout strike fuse switch fuse as well we will treat them one by one now let's go straight to rewindable fuse rewindable 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 fuse rewindable fuse or pit cape type fuse are types of low fuse they are mostly they are mostly common used in house wiring they are mostly common used in house wiring these are the fuse that use a voltage from 0 volts to 1000 volts from 0 to 999.9 volts you can also see it in houses where you can see a rewirable fuse in houses wiring small industries and other small current applications Rewirable fuse consists of two main parts. Rewirable fuse consists of two main parts. Now, a fuse base, that is what rewirable fuse is consists of. I, I told you that the rewirable fuse consists of two main parts, which is the fuse base, which contains which contains the in and out terminal. The fuse base contains the in and out terminal. And a fuse cartridge, which holds the fuse element. I will show you the picture of it, the image of it. One, a fuse base, which contains the in and out terminals, I mean terminal, and a fuse and a fuse carrier it has a fuse carrier which holds the fuse element the fuse base is generally made up of proclaim and the fuse element is made up of thinning copper aluminium lead etc thin copper aluminium lead etc i repeat rewirable fuse kit kit types fuse are types of low fuse they are most used in house wiring small industries and other small current applications Rewirable fuse consists of two main parts, which I have said before. A fuse box, that is a fuse base, a fuse base which contains the in and out terminal, and a fuse carrier, which holds the fuse element. The fuse base is generally made up of proclaim, and the fuse element is made up of tin tin copper aluminium lead etc 
Now, in that case, the fuse carrier can be easily plugged in or removed from the fuse base without any risk of the of any electrical shock. I will show you what I am uh, what I am explaining and uh, what I'm saying now. The fuse carrier can be easily plugged in or removed from the fuse base without without the risk of any electric shock. When the fuse is blown due to overcurrent, we can easily rewind the fuse carrier, rewind the fuse carrier and replace the fuse wire. This is the main advantage of rewindable fuse. It means that in our home, maybe I don't know if you have seen it before, but through this image or the picture that I'm going to show you now, you, you can see it and see how it, it will be rewind and you can see the carrier, the base and every other thing that I'm explaining here now. So in that case, what I'm trying to explain here now is in case this rewirable fuse, this rewirable fuse, it can be recorded as it, it can be replaced by another wire which that is why it is called rewirable fuse now look at what i'm trying to explain this these are the images of the fuse that i'm explaining you remember i said this this one is the base which i told you that it contains the base and every other thing look at what i said here I said the fuse base which contains the in and out terminal and a fuse carrier which holds the fuse element. The fuse base is generally made up of what? Pro Proclaim and the fuse element is made up of tin, copper, aluminium, lead, etc. Now, this is the base which is made up of what I have just said now, the Procle. Why this one is the contact? Why this one is the fuse? This one is the one that you can carry. This is the fuse carrier. They bring this. Why this one is the base? Which, which you can remove this and plug it by without an electric issue or electric shock. Let me go back again and show you what I'm trying to explain here. They said the fuse carrier can be easily plugged in or removed from the fuse base. Look at it here. The fuse carrier can be easily removed. You can easily remove it. But this, this fuse base will be mounted on the wall. This one will be permanent. Why this one can, will be, can be removed? once the fuse cut off look at the fuse here once it cut off it can be replaced by another fuse wire here so that is just how it is these are the image of it and these are how this is how just how it is for you to uh, understand what i mean by the base the fuse carrier and so on and so forth these are the contacts this and this will come close so that they will have in contact this one and this one will also come in contact then it will now supply to this now remember what i said about low fuse they are all they use a voltage from zero to one thousand volts that is the maximum the minimum and the maximum volts that they can use or they can carry Now go to cartridge type fuse or total enclosed type fuse. As the name indicates, cartridge, the cartridge or total enclosed type fuse have a complete closed structure with the fuse link enclosed in the container with the fuse link enclosed in the 
container. This one is different from the other um, the other one that I showed you. The rewirable fuse. This one is different. The rewirable fuse is different from this um, cartridge type fuse or total enclosed fuse. So in that case, the fuse have a complete closed structure with the fuse link enclosed in the container. This type of design and construction will be helped, will help in keeping the arc, in keeping the arc with in the container at the event of blown off or cut off fuse or depending. Now, in that case, now the, this type of design and construction will help to keep the arc within the container at the event when the fuse got blown. That is just how it is. This one is not the, the rewirable type. This one is once it has blown, it has blown completely. Now, the same cartridge type fuse are very important category of fuse that are used in almost all types of application, applications like low voltage, high voltage, and miniature fuse as well. Now, what I'm trying to explain here is, in this type of fuse, you can use this fuse both in high and low voltage. What I mean in high and low voltage, it can be a voltage above a thousand volts, it can be a voltage below a thousand volts. So in that case, cartridge type fuse are again divided into, into D type cartridge fuse and link type cartridge fuse. Now look at how it is. This is just how it, and the cartridge fuse type, how it has been divided into two. We have the D type cartridge fuse. We also have the link type cartridge fuse. Thank you once again for watching my video. Please, if you find my video useful, subscribe to my channel comment, like, and share. Thank you once again. See you in the next class.